Goshen gets the green light. $175 million from the state to build an electric vehicle battery plant in Macosta County. The funding approved today in Lansing. And while some are celebrating, others say their fight to keep Goshen out of Green Township is just beginning. 13 on your side's Micah Cho has been following this story. And last week there was hesitation for the funding. What changed, Micah? The vote was delayed over questions about Goshen's parent company and its ties to the Chinese Communist Party. However, now some lawmakers feel more comfortable that the company is not affiliated with the party. The Goshen Incorporated plant that will aid in the production of electric vehicle batteries now moving forward. On Thursday, the Senate Appropriations Committee approved $175 million to go towards the plant. Madam Chair, you have 10 yeas and 9 yeas. The portion of legislative transfer request number 2023-1 is adopted. Green Charter Township Supervisor Jim Chapman believes that the project is the opportunity of a generation. Chapman's board voted unanimously to support Goshen in December. For every one of those jobs, another two and a half plus will be created within the community of the region. We're talking another 5,000 jobs, plus or minus. Goshen has promised to create more than 2,000 jobs in the area over the span of 8 to 10 years, some jobs paying around $29 an hour. But the plant hasn't been without its controversy. Many who are against it are concerned about the company's ties to the Chinese Communist Party, which Goshen Inc. has previously denied. While horse farm owner Lori Brock shares those concerns, she says she's also worried about the environmental impacts it would have. Brock owns 150 acres of farmland across the street from the proposed plant. We have a trout stream right there. We have eagles. We have um, offspring. It's just a nature lover's paradise where we're at. And they literally are trying to rezone hundreds and hundreds of acres of agricultural land. Supervisor Chapman compared the controversy to Ice Mountain water. Change is scary. There was pushback for um, Ice Mountain. There was pushback for Hayworth. That's inevitable. Changes, it changes scary, and we've got to work with it. Although the funding has been approved, Brock says they're going to continue to fight to keep the company out. A lot of people have turned a, a blind eye to this, and, and they're letting it continue. But it's okay. We've got a lot more things we're going to do, and we're not giving up by any means. Brock told me that they are planning to have a rally against the project this weekend and Goshen could break ground in Green Charter Township as early as July. Juliet. Micah, thank you.